Innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. These words were spoken by none other than Steve Jobs, a man whose life was a testament to this very philosophy. The story begins in the year 1955 in San Francisco, where a boy named Steve was born to Joanne Schiebel and Abdul Fattah Jandali. However, the couple, unable to care for him, gave him up for adoption, and Paul and Clara Jobs became the loving parents who raised him. Growing up in Mountain View, California, Steve Jobs was an intelligent and innovative child, albeit a bit of a handful at times. His parents nurtured his curiosity, and his father, a mechanic, instilled in him a deep appreciation for craftsmanship and design. In high school, Jobs met Steve Wozniak, a meeting that would prove pivotal for both their lives and for the world of technology. Jobs dropped out of college after just six months, but that did not deter him from his passion for technology. Instead, he audited classes, slept on friends' floors, and sold Coke bottles to buy food. This was the beginning of a journey that would revolutionize the world of personal computing. In 1976, at the young age of 21, Jobs co-founded Apple Computer with Wozniak in the Jobs family garage. The first product was the Apple I, a personal computer that Wozniak and Jobs designed and built by hand. It was the first step towards the technological revolution that was to come. However, the journey was not smooth. In 1985, Jobs was ousted from the very company he had built. His response to this setback was to start over, and he founded Next, a computer platform development company specializing in the higher education and business markets. In 1997, in a surprising twist, Apple bought Next, and Jobs returned to his old company. His return marked the beginning of Apple's renaissance. With Jobs at the helm, Apple introduced a series of revolutionary products, starting with the iMac in 1998. One of Jobs' most significant contributions was his minimalist design philosophy. His focus on simplicity and functionality resulted in products that were not just technologically advanced, but also aesthetically pleasing. Under Jobs, Apple launched the iPod in 2001, the iPhone in 2007, and the iPad in 2010. Each of these products was revolutionary in its own way and changed the way people interact with technology. In 2005, Jobs gave an iconic commencement speech at Stanford University, where he shared three stories from his life. He advised the graduates to stay hungry, stay foolish, words that have inspired countless people around the world. Jobs was not immune to criticism. However, he responded to his critics with grace and determination. He famously said, I'm convinced that about half of what separates successful entrepreneurs from the non-successful ones is pure perseverance. In his final years, Jobs launched the Think Different campaign, which celebrated the crazy ones, the people who think differently and change the world. His words of wisdom continue to inspire many to this day. Steve Jobs passed away in 2011, but his legacy lives on. He was a visionary, a pioneer, and a man whose life was defined by innovation and creativity. His contributions to technology have shaped the world as we know it today. In the words of Steve Jobs, the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. His life and legacy are a testament to this belief. He was a true visionary, a man the world will probably never see again. His story serves as a reminder that it is those who dare to think differently who leave a lasting impact on the world.